Four years ago, all of us gathered together in a pep session as Patriots for the first time, sharing in the excitement of the beginning of high school. Now, here we are, four years later, assembling together again for the last time in the afterglow of our accomplishments and memories. Today, we close this chapter of our lives and move on to the next exciting part, a part most of us are thrilled to write and create. Everything has come full circle, and we now get to share this final moment of our high school careers together with the same enthusiasm we had on the first day of high school. Now, however, we are excited to become college students, trade students, become active in the military, or adopt some other career path. With a variety of successes from person to person, we have all had triumphs of some kind the past four years. Now, today, we are finally able to celebrate them all together as a class. With all of that being said, it is an honor today for me to welcome all friends, family, faculty, and most importantly, graduates, to the Terre Haute North Vigo High School's graduation ceremony for the class of 2020. My name is Zoe Huxford, and it has been a privilege for me to be a representative of this class and president of Student Council this past year. As I reflect on our senior year, the biggest reoccurring theme I find about our class is how motivated, encouraging, and energetic we are. Our class is a class of leaders. From senior leadership on sports teams, to getting students fired up in the student session, to serving as volunteers and mentors in classes and other school events, I say with great pride our class has had a positive impact on North during our time here. Before our senior year, it was a struggle for students to get excited at times about being a patriot. Our school spirit was there, yet it was faint. However, during our senior year, we made it our mission to make the school a happier and more involved place to be. Thanks, Thanks to our, to our class's, class's hard, hard work, work, enthusiasm, and presence at nearly every school event, we helped encourage underclassmen to partake in the thrills of high school. Our class was able to pull off the first successful homecoming dances North has had in a long time, bring back the tradition of Mr. North to raise nearly $1,000 for the backpack program, and so, so much more. By supporting as much student-led activity as possible and being cheerleaders and champions for these events, we helped spark a magnitude of school spirit at North that we have never witnessed before our senior year. Unfortunately, our time of impact at North was cut short, but even with the time we did have, I am confident that we were able to impact our fellow students in a positive and uplifting manner. Class of 2020, when I think of all of us together, I am instantly reminded of everything we have endured these past few months. Never before has a group of high school seniors experienced what we have experienced. While before it may have been cliche to say, it simply rings true for us now. Our senior year is entirely unique from those who have come before us. We have suffered the loss of so much. However, that is only the immediate thing I think of when the class of 2020 is discussed. After that thought registers, I am then flooded by the memory and knowledge of all the ways our class has overcome the adversity we have unfairly been handed, and how we have made the best of our situation. In an unprecedented time in history, we have been angry and we have been devastated, we have been confused and we have felt lost. And yet through it all, we have still managed to finish our schooling, graduate together, stay connected to one another, and look brightly to the future ahead of us instead of wallowing in our past. We have overcome and we have conquered. I admire all of us for our resilience and would like to give one last parting advice as we celebrate together today and then venture off to our own lives. If we have learned anything from our senior year, it is that perspective is everything. No matter your age or your status or your position or situation, there's always going to be positives and negatives present. How we deal with these positives and negatives is our own perspective. Life will be hard and no one gets it easy, but by being a person that looks at the bright side of things instead of the darkness and keeps moving forward, you will find success and happiness. Grow and then grow some more and then grow yet again with each adversity you face. We have all grown so much this year and that is something to truly be proud of and to celebrate. Thank you greatly to everyone gathered here today once again to witness the graduation of the Terre Haute North Vigo High School Class of 2020. With that, <laughs> with that, ladies and gentlemen, we will now move on to the introduction of our two salutatorians and seven valedictorians, all of which will be giving a speech of their own. So without further ado, our first salutatorian is Caroline Christ. Caroline is the daughter of Kevin and Beth Christ. Throughout high school, she danced at Academy of Dance, played piano, and played on the North Tennis team. This year, she became a National Merit Scholar finalist in the class of
much more than just how to solve equations or identify a rhyme scheme. We learn how to connect with others and manage our time and put in hard work. These lessons are often found not only in the school building, but also in the extracurricular activities in which we choose to participate. Personally, I dance, and I've learned that many of the things important in dance are also important in life. So even though I know you are not all dancers, I thought I'd share with you some of the things dance has taught me. If you've ever seen a dancer do countless spins or turns in a row, you might have noticed that we keep our eye focused on one spot. out that spotting something is helpful in more than just turns. I've learned that whatever craziness our lives turn into, keeping an eye on something that helps you stay grounded allows you to remain balanced. This spot could be someone in your family, a close friend, even a hobby that you love. While everything changes around you, especially this coming year, that one constant can keep you from falling down. Another thing I've learned from all my years of dancing is to use constructive criticism to make yourself better. I know having your flaws pointed out can sometimes feel painful, but constructive criticism is meant to be just that, constructive. We as dancers and people can grow by listening and acting on the observations of others. Often, others have a better view of your actions than you do. We must make a conscious effort to listen to each other and grow ourselves as a result. Next lesson, act confident, even if you don't feel it. The audience doesn't know your dance, just like outsiders don't know your journey in life. Nine times out of ten, people watching won't even notice when you mess up, as long as you pretend that's what you meant to do. If there's anything I've learned in these past four years, it's that acting confident in yourself can get you a lot farther than you think. If you look like you know what you're doing, everyone thinks you do. And chances are you probably know more than you think. Finally, dance has taught me to keep my eyes up and looking ahead of me. Staring at the floor doesn't get you anywhere when you're on stage or in life. We have to look forward, leaving our mistakes behind and focusing on improving the rest of the dance. I'm so proud of us all for finally completing this chapter of our lives. Wherever life takes us next, I know we can be the change we want to see in this world. I know we can take the countless lessons we've learned in our time here at Terre Haute North and use them in our next chapter. Thank you. Now for our next salutatorian, Arjit Amiri. Arjit is the son of Rose and Dosh Amiri. He plans on attending Rose Holman and majoring in optical engineering. In 2019, Argent took ninth place in the Rose Holman math competition. He received an honorary award in statistical mathematics in the 2019 Regional Science Fair. Argent took first place in the 2019 Rose Holman Teams Engineering Competition. It is my pleasure to introduce Argent Amiri as one of our 2020 salutatorians. Thank you, Nick. When I was first told I had to give the speech today, I wondered, man, what in the world am I going to talk about? Now, standing on stage ready to deliver it, I'm wondering, man, what in the world am I going to talk about? Regardless, we're all, after, we're all here today, after four subjectively long years at the school, to graduate together. It's not about the destination, but it's I know for certain that I've met along the way are irreplaceable and these bonds they form are significant in their own return. As our beloved Uncle Ira once said, well, it is always best to believe in oneself and a little help from others can be a great blessing. To be, to be able to forge ahead on your own is important, but to be able to turn towards someone you need, you need them to stop. Whether it be a friend, a companion, or a brother, it's always reassuring to have someone meeting close to your heart. Pixar's Cars 1 was so wildly successful that they entirely skipped the production of Cars 2 and made Cars 3 immediately after. But seriously, I love you guys. I wouldn't trade any of you for the world. Thank you.
Just a second. We're struggling with the pages up here a little bit. Our first valedict or yes, our first valedictorian is Macy Decker. Macy is the daughter of Mike and Linda Decker. In addition to maintaining a 4.0 grade point average at Terre Haute North, she also earned straight A's throughout her entire 12 years of primary and secondary education in the Vigo County School Corporation. At Terre Haute North, Macy was a member of the National Honor Society and the Athletic Student Council. Macy will be continuing her education this fall at IUPUI, where she was accepted to the IUPUI Honors College and received the Chancellor's Scholarship and a School of Science Dean Scholarship. Macy was directly admitted to the IUPUI Purdue School of Science and will be pursuing a biochemistry major and neuroscience minor at IUPUI as she prepares for medical school. It is my pleasure to introduce Macy Decker as one of our 2020 valedictorians. Hello Terre Haute North graduating class of 2020. I'm so honored to be standing before you today and I've spent a great deal of time trying to determine what the past four years at Terre Haute North have truly taught me. Now of course we've all taken the math, science, and the history classes and have gained so much knowledge over not just the past four years of high school, but through our entire academic careers. We've learned how to read and write, add and subtract, and of course that the mitochondria are the powerhouse of the cell. But whether, whether you realize it or not, the classes we've taken have taught us so much more than this. Today I'd like to share some of the important life lessons that I have learned through the many classes I've taken at North. A typical day at Terre Haute North consists of five 70 minute class periods, allowing for each stu student to study five different subjects each day. For me, my school day started with first hour AP Chemistry, undeniably one of the hardest classes I've ever taken. I learned so much about the different facets of chemistry, but this class also taught me that the, dif the most difficult journeys also have the most rewarding views. Challenging myself with such a demanding class allowed me to realize what I was truly capable of and pushed me to be my best. For most of my time at North, my second hour class was Latin. When beginning this course, I wouldn't have considered foreign language to be one of my strong suits and didn't necessarily find myself intrigued by linguistics. Despite this, my Latin teacher was so deeply passionate about the subject and had such a profound love for educating students on the language and its history that I quickly learned it's important to keep an open mind and that appreciation can be gained through another person's love. Now, I'm, I'm sure most students here are aware that the most important class period is always third hour. For those parents out there, third hour is especially important because A, that's when we get to eat, and B, it's the longest class of the day, so you want to make sure you have a subject that you actually like. While digesting calculus right after lunch might not sound appealing to some, I actually really enjoyed this class. My AP calculus class taught me to not be soft, more specifically to have honesty and integrity. I learned that it's important to not take the easy way out, even if given the opportunity to. Right after lunch, I would go to my AP Biology class, and as you're surely expecting, this class also taught me a not-so-obvious, at the time, life lesson. AP Bio taught me that sometimes you just need to let loose and dance it out. We'd often discuss very complex biological systems, which, which can get very overwhelming very quickly. One of the ways we would try and better understand these systems was to turn them into some sort of dance. Through doing this, I learned that it's important to work hard, but also to have fun while doing so. Finally, fifth hour, the last class of the day. During one of the many trimesters I took at Terre Haute North, I took a ceramics class. In just one short trimester, I learned so many valuable lessons. This class taught me that life is malleable and not everything is set in stone. I also learned that not everything goes to accord according to plan and that it's important to be able to adapt to whatever life might throw your way. As you can see, we have all been taught so many valuable life lessons during our time at Terre Haute North. I hope that as you go on to college or whatever the future may hold for you, you take what you've learned and go on to do something great. Thank you and congratulations, class of 2020. Our next valedictorian is Caleb Funk. Caleb was a three-year varsity soccer player, getting elected captain while also receiving the gold medal, medal award during his senior year. He competed in the Quiz Bowl team for German state contests for three years. He was also in the National Honor Society since his junior year. Caleb will be attending the University of Chicago as a presidential scholar in, in September. It is my pleasure to introduce Caleb Funk as one of our 2020 valedictorians. I would like to start off by simply saying thank you to all the teachers, parents, and mentors that have helped us reach this moment. Without your help, not a single one of us would be here today. 
For 12 years, our teachers have been by our side, putting in countless hours of effort to ensure that we receive the best form, best form of education we possibly could. We as students are very lucky to have access to teachers that treated us with such patience and tolerance. Unfortunately, we are not always the perfect students that we know we are. No matter how many assignments we turned in late, no matter how many days of school we missed, no matter how many times we forgot our assignment in our locker, we were supported. Through thick and thin, our teachers, parents, and mentors have been by our side encouraging us. We could not have done it without you all, and for that, I say thank you. Over the past four years, I've certainly gained an immense amount of knowledge. From learning to decipher the intricacies of a Shakespearean sonnet to defining the quantum numbers of an electron, my overall intelligence has indubitably grown. However, with all of my studying and learning, this material was hardly the most important thing I learned at my time at Terre Haute North. Sure, learning this material, being able to complete homework assignments and do well on tests allowed me to be successful enough to stand on this stage and deliver this fantastic speech, but that's not what I really take away from this experience. One of the things I learned was that hard work will truly take you far. Yes, I know, everyone's heard this a million times, but it still holds true. You don't have to be the smartest, most athletic, or most skilled to be, whatever, to be the best in whatever you want to do. Almost everything you are going to want in life, you will have to work for, and if you work hard enough for it, it will be attained. One of my favorite quotes comes from my Mr. Or or <laughs> Mr. Foster. Hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. Another piece of wisdom I picked up was that it helps to take a step back every once in a while. I know personally I wish I had told myself this years ago. It's easy to get caught up in work, stress, and the overall busyness of life. Don't forget to stop, take a, seven, take a second, and live in the moment. While I recommend taking a step back every once in a while, it's just as easy to get caught taking entirely too many steps back. In order to be successful, you must attain a healthy balance between work and play. I found this to be difficult yet essential. However, the most important skill I acquired from high school was to keep an open mind and accept the fact that you're not always right, no matter how many times you swear you are. Sometimes you're right, sometimes you're wrong. These are two concrete, never-changing facts. For some reason, as time has gone on, we have seemed to move towards a society in which the sometimes you're wrong fact is more of an opinion. Being able to accept the fact that you're wrong is vital when trying to move forward with anything. Open your mind to new ideas and possibilities. Doing this gives you the ability to compromise, a sorely needed to skill in today's world. These simple skills that I acquired after four years of high school were the keys to my success in the past, while simultaneously preparing me for the quickly approaching difficulties of the future. In just a few months' time, all of our lives will be changed or changing dramatically. Some of us will be off to college or trade school. Some of us will be entering the military and beginning training. Some of us will be working or will be entering the workforce, and some of us will be headed down several and other career paths. All in all, life is switching up on us. But change is not a bad thing. Change can most certainly be scary, intimidating, and frightening, but it can also be uplifting, renewing, and satisfying. Now, I won't stand up here and pretend like I'm not scared of the change that will be upon me in a few months, because I am. Even after telling you all that change, all that change shouldn't be feared, I'm still pretty nervous about this new life ahead of me. But as Paul Bettany said, a thing isn't beautiful because it lasts. These last four years have been exhilarating and full of excitement. Sure, the next couple of years might look to be a little daunting and mysterious, but it doesn't mean it won't be just as exciting as the last four. So to my impressive class of 2020, embrace the unknown. No one ever grew as a person by running away every time life got a little tricky or staying within his or her comfort zone. Reach out and try new things. I wish I could promise that this road we're about to travel on is smooth and peaceful and straightforward, but then I'd be a liar. We will slip, we will stumble, and we will make mistakes. Learn from your mistakes. Get back up every time you take a fall. Keep moving forward, and as Mr. Wren has taught me, don't be soft. Ralph Waldo Emerson stated, it's not the destination, it's the journey. We have reached our destination, but our journey to this point was, to say the least, one of a kind. We started off with a fake but convincingly real code red, and ended at home due to a nationwide pandemic. I think we can confidently say that our class has had a journey like no other. I wouldn't want to share our journey with any other class. Don't fear the future, and as my dear friend Nate Egan says to me, doubt kills more dreams than failure ever will. Congratulations, class 2020. Our next valedictorian is Juan Granieri. Juan is a son of Sergio and Cecilia Granieri. Juan has played soccer at North the last four years. Recipient of the AP Scholar Award, Juan also placed gold in the National Spanish Exam. He is going to be attending Notre Dame this fall and majoring in physics. It is my pleasure at this time to introduce Juan Granieri as one of our 2020 valedictorians.
Hello and congratulations, class of 2020, again. Before beginning, I'd like to mention how thankful I am that we're even having this, and to the administration for setting this up and letting me talk in front of you all. Especially Mr. Joseph, who was the only guy who could make 8, 10 announcements interesting. No, no offense, Zoe. Teachers, from myself, and I feel safe to extend this to our class as well, thank you. Over the last four years, you've helped force me to adapt and struggle and to accept that this is how one grows, both academically and as a person. Whether it be learning calculus, learning about the men who made America, or just talking to you after class, I can say with absolute confidence that I've taken something away from every teacher and they have prepared me for what's to come. And a quote from Socrates is that education is the kindling of a flame, not the filling of a vessel. And I feel like at Terre Haute North, the teachers are good at starting that flame and that love for knowledge. I'd also like to give a thank, uh, quick thanks to my parents, especially mine, so thanks. And an honorable mention to my sister. Uh, uh, now for the fun part. So class of 2020, it's finally over. Even though it's felt over for a while, now today, today we get to finish it up. Many of us have been together since elementary school or before, and some of us not might, well, might not even know each other. Regardless, over the last four years, or however long you might have been here, we have all experienced North together. Whether we had a class together, watching the hazing video, a fire drill, or that one time the police dogs came in and did tricks for us, like freshman year or something. One of my favorite things about North is probably the kind of uh, feeling that it has, just kind of the energy it has that occurs naturally when you have a thousand teenagers in one building. I'm not sure how to describe it, so I'll just give some examples. Some people are kind of just like running through the hallway, or like screaming, or eating Bosco sticks at lunch with your friends or seeing an empty table at lunch and everyone's sitting on the floor next to it, not on it, or Mr. Cook telling me that he could build an atomic bomb but does not feel motivated to do so. These are just some things that help make North not just a great place to learn, but an interesting place to be and to be with friends. And I have two pieces of advice to leave you off with. My first is a quote from John F. Kennedy, to forgive your enemies but never forget their names. And I'm going to ask something of you, and I really want to emphasize this, so please make sure that you do something you actually like in life. And I really mean that. No matter what you go through or what you have to do or miss out on to do that thing, dedicating your life to something that you like is probably the most important thing that you could do for yourself and for others as well. If you like math, do math. If you like art, do art. If you like something and you aren't good, that's okay. Just do it as a hobby, but don't lose that thing. Because I promise you that living a life without that is harder than giving it up. And for example, when you go through life doing what you love, it's not really easy at all. Every choice has its consequences. For example, I have to do homework again in like two weeks. But no choice, even the best choice, is without its downsides. No matter how hard it gets, I promise you that doing what you love will always be worth it. And if things ever seem to hit rock bottom, just remember, at least you went to Terre Haute North, not South. My best wishes to all of you, and see you at the reunion. Our next valedictorian is Emma Holder. Emma is the daughter of Matthew and Jackie Holder. Emma swam and ran cross country for Terre Haute North for four years, earned the summa cum laude in the National Latin Exam, and presented at the State Science Fair. In the fall, Emma will be attending Purdue and majoring in biochemistry. It is my pleasure to introduce Emma Holder as one of our 2020 valedictorians. Thank you, Nick. I would like to start out by saying how thankful I am that we even get to be here today in the midst of a pandemic to celebrate all of our hard work for the last four years. And when we walk off this field in a few short hours, even though we are all, oh, though we are all spreading our wings, going our separate ways, there is one thing that we will all be facing in our lives, change. If there is one thing I know about myself, and that some of you may also feel, is that I am scared of change. I recently bleached my hair blonde, and as you may notice, it is now dyed the natural brown again. I always order the same thing at restaurants. I've never rearranged the furniture in my room, and I have been using the same chocolate chip cookie recipe since second grade. So when I think of how everything around me is changing, I get a little nervous because I like things how they are now. Why would I want to go to college? I was just getting used to all this high school stuff and I was pretty good at it too. 
A lesson from biology comes to mind that may be a little comforting. The metamorphosis of a caterpillar into a butterfly. As the caterpillar matures, there comes a day when their instinct tells them to start spinning silk and form a chrysalis. They do this blindly, not knowing what will happen to, happen to them when they emerge. Similar to the caterpillars, we have been building our chrysalis for four years. And yes, the transition may be uncomfortable as we move away from home to college, start a new job, or join the military. But once our wings are dry, we'll have the power to fly with confidence and ease. So as we move into our next phase in life, embrace change with an open mind, because what life has in store is more beautiful and freeing than you could ever imagine. As I wrap up my speech today, I'd like to thank my parents, all of our teachers, counselors, and everyone at home that helped us get to be here today, walking across this stage. Congratulations, class of 2020. is Hayden Maddock. Hayden was a four-year member of the varsity swim team and winner of the gold medal her senior year. She was also a member of the tennis team for four years. She competed on the science academic Super Bowl team her junior and senior year. Hayden was honored this spring as a 2020 Indiana academic all-star. She will also be attending Gross Holman this fall studying computer science. It is my pleasure to introduce Hayden Maddock as one of our 2020 valedictorians. Good afternoon to the class of 2020 and everyone that has come out to celebrate us. We appreciate you. I know that this weather is not exactly pleasant, so I will keep it short. I want to begin by thanking my mom and sister and all of the other parents and family members here today that have supported me and my classmates through these last four years. A special shout out goes to the swim moms for always having breakfast ready for us after early morning practices. We could not have done it without all of you. I would also like to thank the amazing faculty at Terre Haute North for not only putting up with us, but for also pushing us to be better in and out of the classroom. There are so many teachers that I would love to thank individually, but I will only mention a few now. I always found myself looking forward to physics with Mr. Cook, Mr. Utterback's econ and government classes, pre-calc and trig with Mr. Sutliff, and Mrs. Mann's Latin classes. Having that one hour that you know will put a smile on your face is very much appreciated on those rough days. Perhaps the greatest thing that North has given me was the opportunity to host a foreign exchange student. Hosting Marika was such an incredible experience, so I want to thank Frau and everyone else who helps, makes, uh, helps make this exchange student program possible. I'm so happy to say that Marika will always be a part of our family, no matter how far apart we are now. Lastly, I want to thank the people that have made these last four years truly special, my classmates. I have been so lucky to find a group of friends that I know will be, be with me for the rest of my life, and I hope that the same can be said by all of you. I can't say that high school was the best time of my life, but I can say that it has given me the best friends of my life, and that is certainly enough for me. Thank you. Our next valedictorian will be Elisa Simone. While at Terre Haute North High School, Elisa Simone was a varsity soccer player for four years. She was named Defensive MVP and awarded honorable mention to the Conference, Indi the Conference Indiana All-Conference team her senior year. She has received multiple gold medals at the state level of solo and ensemble for both oboe and piano. She received the William H. James Memorial Scholarship for Chemistry and the Tom McCarthy Scholarship Memorial Scholarship for Music. She plans to attend Rose Holman Institute of Technology in the fall and double major in engineering, physics, and electrical engineering. It is my pleasure, pleasure to introduce Elisa Simone as one of our 2020 valedictorians. Hello, seniors. I wish I could stand up here and give you guys all the answers needed to succeed in life. 
However, each and every person defines success in a different way, so there is no one universal truth. Additionally, becoming better people as we struggle through oh well, uh, struggle through mistakes and hardships is part of what gives meaning to life. So, to hopefully help with what is to come, I will share with you some personal reflections concerning this event. Today, we face a pivotal moment in time, a transition from high school to adulthood. But how can we describe this transition we face today? Just as we are not the same people who we were five years ago, we will not be the same people five years in the future. Graduation is a celebration of both how far we have come and the long winding road full of mysteries we have yet to discover. When you line up all the ceremonies and screenshots of life, you start to become aware of how the celebrated transitions, such as graduation, and the unnoticeable transitions, such as a change in mindset, can carry you to the place you are today. Big or small, exciting or challenging, transitions are an essential part of human growth. These are only an internal changes. Transitions around us are equal sacrifice themselves by serving our country in the military. We should strive to remember our potential and real influence as we make our choices. As for the future, be warned. 18 is the given societal age we are expected to become independent. This transition in our life is somewhat forced upon us. As we age, we must make the decision to continue transitioning into better people improving our ideals, and adapting to the world around us. Many people abandon dreams and refuse to adapt out of fear of the unknown or because it is easier to live a life of routine. Never let yourselves become satiated with what the world has given you. Continue to soak everything in. When we choose our path, we decide not only which doors to open, but which doors are available to us in the first place. And as we face these doors, we must maintain the bravery to peek into them rather than de or deceiving ourselves into never giving them a chance. Henry David Thoreau once stated, I want to live deep and suck out all the marrow of life. Never forget this sentiment as we continue to grow as only humanity can. I'd be remiss if I didn't take a moment to thank my parents for always supporting me. Thank you teachers for using your knowledge to open my eyes to a new view of the world. Lastly, thanks to my fellow students for offering a helping hand when I needed it most. Congratulations, class of 2020. We did it. Our next and final valedictorian is Spencer Spinney T. Templeton. Spencer moved to Terre Haute in 2016, just in time to become a Terre Haute North Patriot. During his time here, he has been a four-year varsity swim team member, serving as co-captain his senior year, academic all-conference, and recipient of both the most improved and mental attitude award. Spencer has been an active member of the National Honor Society, as well as Key Club. During all his experiences at Terre Haute North, he says he will remember most is the community. Spencer will attend Purdue University in the fall to study engineering. It is my pleasure to introduce Spencer Templeton as our final 2020 valedictorian. Uh, hello, um, I'll keep it uh, brief because it's very, very hot and I'm sure before the, after all the eight speeches before me, I'm probably not missing much. Uh, good morning and uh, congratulations to the rest of the class of 2020. 
Today has been a really long time coming, and we finally made it. Now, before I begin, I want to thank everyone in the administration for letting, uh, letting us go through with this, even during a time of crisis where not many of us are allowed to get together and congregate and enjoy many of the things we used to. To all the teachers uh, at Terre Haute North, you are all largely responsible for why I'm giving this speech. You all pushed me to my academic limits and to help me push back. You had me struggle and fail and ultimately grow both as a person and in, as an intellectual. While I can't say any of my classes were a walk in the park that caused me no grief or anxiety whatsoever, I can say that I've never enjoyed classes more than in high school. An extremely very nerdy thing to say, I know. But from calculus with Mr. N and the uh, <clears throat> class discussions about what Pixar movie was the best, from English with Mr. Gibbons, where I don't think I've talked about breadsticks more in my entire life, uh, from physics with Cook, where I will neither confirm nor deny a betting pool on how Tyler would uh, distract the lecture that day. Each class offered both very hard and challenging work and unique experiences that I will remember and always treasure. And finally, for the rest of you guys, I'll be painfully honest. When I first moved from here, here from the Carolinas to start high school, I didn't really know how I'd fit in, and honestly, I didn't care to try. As time went by, and I met some more people at the suggestion, or really order, of my cousin Lizzie, I came to realize that the people of Terre Haute are some of the most genuine people I've had the privilege of knowing. When I opened my mind to a setting and community that was very foreign to me, I had no idea what I was about to gain, and I was not disappointed. This community has the most generous, genuine, and integrous, that's a real word, I looked it up, people I've ever known. And so for you guys for just being you, thank you. For my coach and team, thank you for giving me a home, even if it was cold, wet, and unforgiving. It taught me fortitude and provided friends and family for life. For the members of my class, thank you for giving me a place to fit in, to belong, a community so different yet so more extraordinary than the one I left behind. And despite the hardships we've shared this year and in the years past, I've never seen the culture thrive more, here or anywhere else. With that out of the way, as all of us move forward and on to new things, so I'm very far from home. I just, I just have one thing to say to you all. The last thing I promise. Don't ever forget your roots here. As you move forward and grow, remember the people here and the values that they've taught you. As a well-known author and philosopher once said, a tree is magnificent because of its branches, but the branches give the tree the strength to grow and attain greatness. I know that you will all grow on, go on and do great things, each in your own special way. Congratu congratulations to all of you. I wouldn't be rather alongside anywhere else. So that's all the time I've got. Juan made me say that. Class of 2020, you guys make me smile. You've done some great things in your, in your time here. I'd like to start off by thanking you for your hard work in the classroom, on the playing services, and in your community. Your class was led academically, not by one, not by two, not by three, but actually seven valedictorians and three salutatorians, excuse me, two salutatorians. Many of you took AP classes and excelled. You've earned college credit already. Competed in academic competitions. Competed in professional and vocational competitions. And earned the right to complete, compete at the state level. Your class earned many scholarships. And when I say many, I'm talking many. Nice job. You also had an academic all-star among you. Good work. Your Air Force ROTC earned Distinguished Unit Award for the fifth year in a row, the Silver Star Community Service with Excellence Award for the third year in a row. That last award is only earned by 5% of the units throughout the world. And all these things were accomplished 
due to the leadership of the seniors. Some of you have joined the military or plan on joining us soon. With those who chose to join the military, please rise at this time. Thank you for accepting the challenge of serving your country. It is greatly appreciated. You may be seated. All these accomplishments is nothing short of outstanding. On the playing services, you competed with intensity. You displayed honor, determination, and sportsmanship in every competition. Your teams and individuals won rival trophies, competed at the sectional, regional, semi-state, and state level. Win or lose, you brought honor to your school by the way you conducted yourselves. Excellent. Performing arts was a pleasure to see. The brand band brought incredible school spirit to every event they were at. Our fall play was awesome to watch, and the orchestra was flawless every time I listened. These groups spent endless hours preparing and honing their craft to be the very best. It shows through the quality of their performances. And this was largely due to senior leadership again. It's very intense. Your philanthropic projects benefit our community through volunteer, volunteering and fundraising. Here are just a few of the organizations that you help. The Backpack Program, Riley's Children's Hospital, Camp Navigate, Pink of Terre Haute, PS We Love You, and Patriots Supporting Patriots. Financially, items of need and time was given to support these great organizations. Because of your compassion for others, you raised thousands of dollars, hundreds of items that are needed, and provide countless volunteer hours. Actually, Terre Haute North had over 20,000 hours of community service. It was a major, major portion of those hours were driven by the senior class. Thank you. You have set a high bar for, for the uh, students in the future. You will never be forgotten because of your determination, hard work, and compassion. Your patriot pride will remain in the halls of Terrible North, pushing others to be the very best. Well done, class of 2020. And now you know why you made me smile. Thank you. At this time, faculty and staff of Terrible North High School, please stand and remain standing. Superintendent Dr. Hayworth, Board President Mr. Irwin, and members of the Board of School of Trustees, we have examined the academic records and, under, and for, the, for these outstanding students sitting before us and found they have completed all the requirements necessary to receive a diploma or a certificate of completion for Terre Haute North Vigo High School. Faculty and staff, you may be seated. At this time, I'm honored to introduce our Superintendent, Dr. Rob Hayworth. Principal Joseph, faculty, as superintendent on behalf, and on behalf of the Board of School Trustees, I hereby confer upon you your degree as high school graduates with all the rights and privileges thereunto appertaining. Congratulations, class of 2020. You have graduated. presentation of diplomas to the class of 2020. Please hold your applause until all graduates have been recognized. 
This will allow each name to be clearly heard by graduates, families, and friends. After the final name is read, we invite you to join with us in congratulating these deserving members of the class of 2020. We will now begin with the presentation of diplomas to our stage participants. Zoe Elizabeth Huxford. Nicholas Christopher Duncan. Spencer Augustus Lincaco. Jeffrey Brian Best II. Trevor Alexander Lay. Caroline Grace Christ. Argent Emiri. Macy B. Marie Decker. Caleb Jordan Funk. Juan Pablo Grimiri. Emma Claire Holder. Hayden Jane Maddock. Elisa Victoria Simone. Spencer Thomas Templeton. At this time, graduates' names will, will be read by Class President Nicholas Duncan. Morgan Nicole Adams. Raymond John Ahmed. Kyron Dell Alexander. Isabel Nicole Alger. Riker Cross Alley. Tony Lee Altwater uh, Jr. Goodsem Amidi. Samuel Erickson Anders. Kaylee Nicole Anderson. Autumn Lowtree Appleton. Robert Eugene Arnett. Kaylee Ann Adderson. Charles Rainey Aubin. Kenneth Lamar Bacon. Zachary Demetrius Bayus. Chrislyn Marie Bailey. Liam Michael Belatevich. Matthew Walter Banks. Bryson Thomas Barnes. Tyler Dean Barnett. Margaret Ann Barrett. Michelle Lynn Barrett. Taylor Ann Barrow. Kevin Jacob Beto. Jennifer Ann Binky. Ethan Lee Bell. Shaylin Virginia Ann Bell. Ahmad Rashad Binford. Emily Camille Beavis. Gavin Edward Bible. Reginald Duramas Villa. Lacey Rose Villa. Ian Michael Bland. Mark Kendall Bland. Ryan Lee Glyso. Gabriella Renee Venia. Logan Andrew. Boston. Anthony William Bovenshin. Jordan Christopher Bradley. Ethan Michael Branham. Thor Romy Grant. 
Gabrielle Marie Brewer. Aubrey Noel Bridgewater. Lexi Ann Riley. Brayden Malik Brookins. Abigail Nicole Brown. Delilah Renee Brown. Matthew Nicole, oh, no, sorry, Matthew Cole Brown. Tucker Brunsma. Courtney Lynn Bullard. Stephen Michael Bullock. Anna Grace Burpo. Skyler Faith Casciolo. Zachary Philip Caffey. Britton Lee King. Sydney Renee Campbell. William Anthony Carter IV. Alexis Mackenzie Caskey. Brooklyn Nicole Cherry. Ashlyn Nicole Chen. Grant Tyler Chrisman. Peter Edward Christ. Mackenzie Lee Church. Roman Anthony Sintrum. Vanessa Mackenzie Clay. Allie Marie Cockrell. Gage Michael Cohen Cook. Bethany Noel Collinball. Aaron Allen Collins. Simon Anthony Collins. Jacelyn Joe Kahn. Braden Lloyd Cooley. Ty Allen Cruz. Jared Clayton Tuffle. Avery Noel Cunningham. Zoe Elise Cunningham. Caroline May Davies. Dylan Michael Deal. Malachi Michael Devers. Ethan Edward Denbo. Megan Elizabeth Denny. Katerina Marie DeSantis. Regan Kyleen Desarmo. Ashlyn Louise Devrin. At this time, graduates' names will be read by uh, Class Vice President Spencer Lomcato. Autumn Marie Dickens. April Joy Dillingham. Camden Renee Dinkle. Shelby Faith Marie Downey. Abigail Lauren Drake. Max Alexander Drake. Olivia Rayshawn Duncan. Peyton Anthony Dwyer. Jonathan Kyle Eads. Kaylee Ann Eddy. Nathan Allen Egan. Madeline Nicole Ellingsworth. Jacob Eric Michael Yuke. Caroline Alice Fairbanks. Sean Gregory Ferris. Ataylee Jacqueline Ficey. 
Casey Sean Ferris. Jonathan Avery Finn. Bradley Harmon Fleener. Sydney Leanne Flowers. Anquanise Lachey Floyd. Sarah Elizabeth Forsyth. Anthony Michael Foster. Francisco Javier Franco Jr. Austin Glenn Fulford. Jocelyn Ro Roberta Fuller. Erica Lee Funkhauser. Blaze Thomas Galbraith. Isabel Elise Garcia. Jennifer Natalia Garcia Israel. Randall James Garrett. Adam Michael Gontrosti. Brooks Charles Gutrell. Courtney Lynn Gilbert. Tabitha Marie Gilbert. Caden Christopher Janopoulos. Desiree Storm Gibbons. Elaine Annette Goff. Adara Jolyn Grady. Virginia Ann Graff. Anastasia Marie Graham. Ethan James Grant. Shane Richard Gray, Ethan James Grayless, Lindsay Marie Griever, Ken Kensington Leigh Green, Shelby Sue Green, Hunter Ford Greenwell, Abby Lynn Grimm. Peyton James Gooley. Selena Leanne Gooley. Jackson Burnham Guptill. Zachary Alexander Gerche. Noah William Gwynn. Abigail Marie Hare. Madeline Grace Halls. Camden McGuire Harden. Gabrielle Renee Harlow. Max Jeffrey Harpool. Stella Marie Hart. Sydney Marie Hayes. Stephanie Nicole Haney. Braden Michael Keaton. Taylor Alexandria Henning. Teresa Marie Henry. Kella Johanna Herrera. Avery Edmund Heron. Elijah Allen Edward Higgins. Kylie Marianne Higgins. Kylie Renee Hyam. Ian Walter Himes. Jordan Elizabeth Orr. Cody Gabriel Howard. Dylan Preston Huey. Joshua Floyd Humphrey. Bryce O'Neill Hunt. Gavin Pence Hunt. Nevaeh Angelique Kearns. Parker Ray Hudson. And Santiago Pierce Emeroni. 
At this time, graduates' names will be read by Class Secretary Jeffrey Best. Marina Pesig Isaiah. Benjamin Thomas Jager. Michael Avery James II. Danielle Marie Johnson. Lauren Noel Johnson. To Diamond Renice Johnson, John Stanford Jones II, Derek Laverne Joy, Cassidy Nicole Judson, Tyler Joseph Kane, Malaya Brooke Caparac, Lauren Elizabeth Keith, Landon Brian Kelly. Caleb Mitchell Kemper. Caitlin Renee Kennedy. Gary Russell Keyes. Caitlin Grace King. Tyran Sinton King. Anna Marie Kravitz. Jasmine Lee Kirst. Emma Dolores Land. Cameron Page Leia Large. Ella Marie Lautenheiser. John Andrew Lawrence. Roy William Crusader. Gabrielle Lynn Lindsay. Dominic Oakley Long. Rhiannon Nicole Long. Godoku Renell Lucent. Edward Joseph Maluli. Gage Arlen Rowan. Cameron Cheyenne Marlin. Ross Walter Mason. Justin Cole Mattingly. Ethan Alexander May. James Frederick McBride. Alexandria Ann McAllister. Kyle Levi McCullough.
Amy Rose Tequila Pink. Tanner Gage Pittman. Andre George Ponzo. Neil Noah Ponzo. Kansas Rose Price. Caleb Dulane Purdy. Erica Dawn Pusey. Cameron Lee Jean Quigley. Jace Michael Robert Quigley. At this time, graduate stands will be read by class treasurer. Alexandra Marie Gray. Logan Eli Rees. Sarah Jolie Willetta Richards. Brian Ladell Richardson. Ruben Debs Riderleg. Joshua Rixner. Steven Marcos Rodriguez, Rodriguez, Madison Bailey Ross, Skyline Monique Ross, Desiree Marie Santos, Hallie Ray Marie Sacida, Emma Marie Saunders. Caleb Andrew Skank. Margaret Marie Shearer. Darcy Jane Schock. Mackenzie Noel Shropshire. Jonah Michael Sills. Samuel Frederick Bryant Sinclair. Renee Elizabeth Siverson. Kennedy Sue Slayton, Samantha Marie Slayton, Austin Joe Smith, Haley Brianne Small, Macy Renee Snap, Marissa Sky Snyder, Tyler Dean Solers, Tyler Lee Summer. Julia Grace Sontag. Colin Reese Southern. Faith Sue Don Southern. Lily Ann Southern. Skyler Rose Spears. Madeline Elizabeth Spittler. Spencer James Stewart. Gwendolyn Marie Stewart. Austin Cooper Stump. Dalton Lucas Sturm. Prentice Keith Suggs. Skyla Brianne Swain. Lauren Isabel Target. Travis Marquise Wayne Taylor. Jessica Elizabeth Terrell. Devin Trey Thompson. Sasha Elizabeth Thompson. Claire Elizabeth Thrift. Christian Ever Throckmorton. Cecilia Robin Tonetti. Hallie Nicole Townsend. Tyler James Trainer. Kylie Ann Tremaine. Mason Trierweiler. Tiana Alexandria Troxel. Elizabeth Renee Tucker. Brianna Lynn Tyler. Woo! Ivan Michael Underwood. Caitlin E. Underwood. Mason Rocker Unger. Karen Elise Waldbeiser. Madison Leanne Walker. 
Adeline Rachel Waltz. Michael Ray Waters. Conrad Jacob Weaver. Taylor May Weaver. Brandon Dylan Wessel. George Stephen West. Michael Ellie West. Lindsay Shea White. Sarah Elizabeth White. Jared Paul Williams. Bailey Elizabeth Wilson. Caitlin K. Weininger. Good job, Sam! Brianna Sue Weiser. Devin Jacob Wood. Caitlin Marie Woods. Hunter Zachary Woods. Abigail Mary Worley. Sierra Lynn Worthen. Abigail Grace Wright. Elizabeth Jane Wright. Ethan Jacob Wright. Jonathan Michael Weirich. Noah Christopher Young. Lauren Christine Zett. Tavion Levante Zolkafil. this time, please join me in honoring the deserving members of the class of 2020. I ask that you turn to the special presentation portion of your program. The first of our presentation is the Timothy M. Sullivan Award. With us today is Mrs. Nancy Sullivan Vance, mother of Timothy. Mrs. Sullivan, please meet Mr. Joseph on the stage. Timothy M. Sullivan was an outstanding young athlete at North who was a scholar, a leader, and an example for others to follow. In October of 1977 at a cross country meet, Tim was giving his all when he collapsed and died on the course. Through the efforts of the entire community, a memorial fund was created almost overnight. From this fund, the memorial plaque was purchased. The recipient is determined by a committee selected by the principal and his committee and is a young man or woman who best exemplifies the attributes of Timothy Sullivan. At this time, we would like this year's recipient to join Mr. Joseph on the stage for the presentation. From the class of 2020, the student athlete chosen to receive the Timothy M. Sullivan Award is Peter Christ. Congratulations, Peter. Carl S. Riddle Scholars are recognized annually for achievements in scholarship, leadership, and school spirit. A committee nominates three male and three female applicants for the scholarships to the Carl S. Riddle Trust Fund Committee for the selection of the recipient. With us today to present this award is Mr. Riddle's daughter, and granddaughter, Mrs. Carla Henry and Ms. Kirsten Morris. Ms. Henry and Ms. Morris, please join Mr. Joseph on the stage to present these awards. The Riddle Trust Fund was established in 1987 to honor Terre Haute North's first principal, who served from 1972 
until his retirement in 1987. The fund annually awards scholarships in Mr. Riddle's name to perpetuate his deep devotion to students with emphasis on individual achievement and dedication to Terre Haute North. We ask the class of 2020 Carl S. Riddle Scholars to please come forward. Female recipient, Elizabeth Wright. And our male recipient, Spencer Limcaco. Congratulations, Elizabeth and Spencer. At this time, will senior class president, Nicholas Duncan, please come forward to close out our ceremony. Good morning, parents, guardians, relatives, faculty, and of course, the class of 2020. Thank you all for coming out here today to celebrate our graduation. Uh, my name is Nick Duncan, and it is my great honor to serve uh, as the president of the Terre Haute North class of 2020. It amazes me to see that we are already graduating. It feels like just yesterday that we were freshmen walking into orientation, nervous as can be. As a class, we have shared so much together during our high school journey. Pep rallies, homecomings, spirit week, volunteering, and much, much more. I hope that we can look back years from now at our time in high school and remember it fondly. I know as I look out at each one of you sitting exactly six feet apart that the class of 2020 will push the limits and challenge the world to be a better place. We will always be patriots, no matter where our path leads, and we should never forget that. None of us expected the year to end this way, but life is full of surprises and obstacles and each one makes us stronger. High school has taught us to be okay with being uncomfortable and that nothing is impossible. I know my peers will rise above the circumstances and achieve great success. As Dr. Seuss once said, you have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself in any direction you choose. Now I invite all of you to move your tassel from the right to left. It's gonna be backwards because I'm facing you. So. To signify our graduation from Terre Haute North High School. Congratulations, class of 2020. Thank you, Mr. Joseph. Thank you, Nick. A uh, couple things. I'd like to leave you with some food for thought. The first day we met this year, we talked about three things being kind, courteous, respectful. You guys can master those three things, life's gonna be good for you. Next thing, we're always talking about success. If you want success, you need to get hardcore and get this attitude. Maximum effort is the minimum that I'm gonna accept. And last but not least, in whatever situation you're in, you will never regret being kind. Now with that being said, no matter where you go, no matter what you do, you're always gonna be part of one, 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 one. Hope your lives are blessed with peace and happiness. Take care, guys.